Well, just got done cutting the grass, brought the uh, lawn mower back, and now we're picking up some of the, uh, we're actually picking up the old steps that came off the side of the Tahoe, just because we're gonna store them at the house. But I've got a couple interesting things planned for you guys today. Um, I don't know, we're, we're gonna see how it goes. Welcome to, uh, what, what are we at, vlog number nine? I get messages periodically asking if I have subs and different things inside the truck and because of this whole quarantine thing, I'm not really gonna leave the house much except for, you know, I had to take the lawnmower back this morning, but something I should have done and something I should do on a regular, more regular basis than I do is clean my truck out. And since I was having a couple people asking about the subs in the truck, I wanted to take today and, you know, kind of go over that and talk about that. But the main part of the video today is gonna be actually cleaning my truck out, which has not been done in man it's 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 been a minute it's definitely been a minute and it's it's good to clean it out you know really deep clean the truck i'm not going to be cleaning the seats and everything but and i don't have a vacuum I'm really just taking all the crap out and then sanitizing the truck so i i wish i had a you know vacuum and stuff that i could do that today but we'll save that for another day but let's uh let's jump into this i'm a little worried to see actually what's in the truck but we're, we're gonna find out so let's go so the back seats are really what i'm worried about the front seats aren't going to be too bad normally i have a couple water bottles sitting over here that i drink out of really surprised i have nothing over here right now we got some uh some iphone headphones the uh something falling out of the tree the old hat that i was wearing for a little bit we have the giveaway winners giveaway prize that i need to ship out on monday let's see we've got a oh wow what is this eight millimeter snap on wrench nice might use that, might not. Um, a little bit of chalk from the uh, $10 Walmart video that we did. Where's that? Uh, there we go, right there. Um, probably trash that. And then here's the other side of it is right there. So you can probably trash that. Since she does not have the aftermarket headlights in her Tahoe right now, one of the bulbs is, is not working correctly. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I have one of her color changing bulbs in my truck. Piece of mail from capital one i don't have capital one so there's really no point in me having that that could go in the trash a letter from the back of the truck or the side of the truck i've got like a bunch of the letters sitting in my cup holders up here and we're gonna go through that in just a second so these the famous bread gang where's it at it's kind of blurry y'all aren't gonna see it but it says bread gang right there on the back of these ray-bans the famous ray-bans that christina got me when we when we first started dating those absolutely love those you shout out to mags upholstery we got some mags upholstery business cards left in here might definitely get, actually definitely gonna need those another a or i think that was the a i just put up here my wallet and debit cards for whatever reason i, I have been terrible about keeping that's why i forgot these at work the other day i need to put those back in my wallet that that would be nice shout out to my guy steph steph cuts my hair style steph styles atl make sure y'all hit him up if you want a fresh cut everybody's gonna be needing a fresh cut after uh, this quarantine's over with Sharpie. Got my Beats headphones. I was cutting the grass this morning, so I was using my Beats. And then uh, I think this is a receipt from Little Caesars that I need to throw out of here. She drinks a lot of White Claws and stuff, so I got a bunch of, you know, bottle can topper things and then a, a couple, you know, pieces of change. Front seats aren't that bad except for the fact that they are really dirty. Um, and then all that crap under there is just old mail and stuff that I need to throw out of here, which, I, yeah, probably need to do that. And then I've got my old little trees up here. None of them smell like vanilla anymore, so I definitely need to get some new ones. I got a rosary, and then uh, I've got my necklace that I've had since I was a little kid, and then uh, this little charm on here for me and Christina when we first started dating, March 12th. You shout out to March 12th. That wide bow tie koozie. I got a C4 off-road koozie. I do not have C4 off-road lights on my truck. Really, the only reason I have that is because I like the, the lime green. And then I believe I have a Boost Auto Parts koozie on that on that one over there that pretty much covers the front seats of the truck there's not too much crap up here surprisingly i definitely need to like you know kind of sanitize everything up here and uh clean it all up but other than that the, the front's not too bad the, the back is really where we're going to run into a couple of issues well not issues but just run into a bunch of crap and i'm actually going to be putting some stuff back on the truck today that's sitting in the back seat but i'm going to start it off you guys have been asking about the subs i've got two jbl 12s with a custom carpeted box this is a box that sits on the back seat this is uh I'm, it's made around the back seat so this thing doesn't it's not going anywhere but this is the the sub setup i've got two amps on that side under the seat that i'll show you guys so i've got one amp per sub it's it's not crazy it's it's uh, I'm, i won't be able to really let you guys hear it if you want to hear what it sounds like message me on instagram and i can you know kind of sh send you a video but you know copyright music i'm not doing that but it's definitely not 
crazy loud, but it's it's definitely loud enough for me. I, I have never had any complaints. It's very clean, very smooth sound, especially having a ported box. I think any more than these 212s and it would really start to just be too much and then any less wouldn't be enough, which is why at one point I had just one of these. I had like a little square box in between the seats and it was just this one and then I upgraded to both of them. So I'm a little worried, but let's jump into the back seat. Oh, wow. <laughs> So I've got some, uh, we'll start with the door, some old receipts. I've actually, actually got some vinyl samples over here that I was looking at at some point. A couple of pieces of trash. Obviously got some water bottles, Nest, Nest Quick stuff. Something that I am gonna put back on the truck today during this video is uh, the spikes. My, my true spike, spike lug nuts that have not been on the truck for a while for whatever reason. I think I washed the truck, rotated the tires and just didn't put them back on. Um, some old stuff from Christmas, I got a work shirt. Um, I think this is from Zach's shop actually, this little screwdriver, should probably give that back to him. A couple of pieces of mail back here under the seat there. The uh, the marker that didn't work from the Walmart video. I got some laundry that I just picked up. A couple of meal prep containers I need to take inside. This is all the stuff for her uh, her fog lights that need to go on the Tahoe. That needs to go inside until we can get that done. Um, these are the, I never, I filmed part of this video but never actually finished it. These are the light bars that we're gonna be putting onto the Tahoe at some point, so spoiler alert. And then obviously we've got the uh, the Boost Auto, one of the Boost Auto Parts mirrors in here. I, the other one's in, in the box inside. The only reason this one's outside right now is I was filming with it doing something the other day. You shout out to Boost Auto Parts. I really need to get these put on the truck. I'm a little disappointed in myself that I have not done so yet, but that's definitely coming soon. And then on this side of the truck, this one's the bad side. This is, I got some shirts and some, some jackets and sweatshirts that I need to get out of here. Actually, I got a lot of shirts in here. Wow, and my camera case that's in here. And a big tripod that Alex from Mags gave me that I need to, uh, that I'll, I'll end up using at some point. I haven't had a use for it yet. Um, these blankets got glass on them, so there's glass all in these blankets right here. And then these are just dog blankets down here that, you know, need to get washed at some point. I, there's not a bunch of crap in here. It's just stuff that I haven't, you know, Nobody ever rides with me in the back of the truck, so I've never really had a reason to clean this all out. I keep forgetting about it, but I've got the two amps sitting down here. You can only see one of them, but you know, you got one amp here and then one amp. I don't know if you can see it back there. Yeah, you can see it a little bit back there. One amp connected per sub. These are both JBL as well. I want to say they're like six or 800 amps or watts, whichever it is per, uh, per amp. And then you've got a thousand watt max subs that they connect to so i mean really the the sound is really clean and really smooth i love it definitely get a ported box if you're thinking about getting subs uh, i don't like the punchy sound of non-ported boxes but that's just you know me personally that's that's my personal preference i'm gonna get all this crap cleaned out real quick and then i'll sh you know dive into the back seats with the subs a little bit more so i've actually got one of the amp boxes back underneath here so we can actually look at it see how many watts it is all of these sides are in different different languages that's nice Oh, 1300 watt max. Oh, that's cool. So I could probably put two more 12s in here if I wanted to. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. This is actually the first time I've ever really looked under here. So you got the, the port for the box under here and then all the wiring and then you can see the other the other side, the amp right there. I've, uh, I've always really wanted to plexiglass the sides of this and put LEDs inside of it. I feel like that'd be really cool. But trying to get this box out of here would probably be a pain in the ass. I've never really... Yeah, I don't know if I, if I want to jump into that, but we're going to slide this back under here. Uh, I genuinely don't feel like messing with these right now, even though I will put these back on the truck probably today. I just don't want to get my hands all dirty right now. I just showered and I don't want to get all dirty again. So, But for those of you that were wondering, I did get a comment on my last video. This is my, my, my base setup in the truck. Two 12s, two amps. Um, like I said, I need to definitely need to get this thing cleaned. The inside needs to be, uh, needs to be cleaned, like really cleaned. But uh, that's probably for another day. I don't really feel like jumping into that. I don't know what, what the rest of today is going to hold. It's already like 2 or 3 o'clock. Me and Mags are going to go crazy on the inside of this truck. I know that. We're, we're going to redo the seats. I really want... I think I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do red leather. I, I think that's what we're going to do. Red leather seats. I think that's that's got to be done. Like all red leather, black stitching with maybe like my logo on the headrest or something. Some diamond stitching in the middle. Something like that. That's a... Uh, Ooh, I think that's the move. It's crazy that even on the weekends, I get tired of sitting at the house. Like, I'm so glad I'm not quarantined at home and I'm able to go to work or I genuinely would lose my mind. So, uh, I'm just, I'm way too bored sitting at the house right now. So, I'm going to go get some more, uh, some new little trees for my truck up at the gas station since all of mine have completely ran out of scent. And just like that, we've got some new air fresheners for the truck. Definitely, whoa, whoa, hello. 
no copyright. It's it's been a real weird day. I, I haven't left the house. Well, I have left the house once or twice, but it just it's been such a weird day. I hope you guys are enjoying the daily vlogs. Today was kind of a slow day. Nothing nothing crazy. No coworker, you know, crazy antics or anything. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content again. A uh, new giveaway is starting tomorrow. So I hope you guys are excited. I throw a little bit of a treat in there for you guys at the end of this video. Those of you that watch all the way to the end, new giveaway starts tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Let's get this bread. Yeah.